All right, so we're back with more species, the game where you get to play God. As if God had drank like an entire 24 case of Natty Light. Let's do this. Now, the last time, we happened to make some horrifying creatures before we boiled them all in the volcanic ash of the wasteland we had created. I think that we should attempt to do something just as insane today. Random, if you please, because it's amazing. All right, we need to create a world here. We've had two different ones before. Today, we're gonna go with the with emergency world. 911. Perfect. I'm sorry. 911. <laughs> Don't know where those twos came from. Uh, yeah, we'll go with ocean. I think we did lake last time. Slope gradient? What in the world? Oh, it gives you hills and valleys. Sure. There we go. Yeah, more hilly. Sure, why not? Breeding range. The maximum genetic distance a creature can be from another creature while still allowing them to mate. So if you max this out, does that mean that like creatures could inseminate other creatures from the entire other side of our continent? Like, it would basically be like a free for all mating, but it says it makes speciation rarer. Speciation? Speech? Whatever. It makes it rare, okay? It's, just, it's very rare. Someone said to up the oxygen level. I can't do that. I'll go ahead and make these trees grow a lot faster though. Since everyone's breathing like crazy, we're gonna give everyone incredible stamina pools. It allows them to move further. I think that was part of our problem before when we were trying to recreate the dinosaurs. Everything was so big that like it couldn't get anywhere. Like it would go like three steps, it would be absolutely exhausted. So let's try this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and create the ice age, but before we do it, we need to get some creatures kind of like existing. You know how before we took the temperature and we just cranked it up to a million? We'll slowly lower the temperature and see if the creatures can evolve to adapt to it. All right, welcome everyone to the Sadlands. Why is my, look at this. It's like my, uh, my nursery has been put into a crater. It's like an alien crater has landed here and has created this life. This is actually a really sweet little continent. Look at this. We got some floating freakish puffer fish over here. That looks awful. You got your walking Michelin tire. He's trying to figure things out. Not sure what happened over here, but apparently everyone immediately died. Are they on fire? It kind of looks like he's on fire. Yeah, his external temperature is very, very hot right now. I could have sworn I had this place set at, oh, it's 34 degrees Celsius. I guess it's just gonna take a while before things level out. So this is what we're dealing with today. Uh, so y'all can see it. Oh, it looks like a dog. If a dog had gone through like the same radiation therapy that Spider-Man went through. This basically looks like someone took a couple of uh, a couple of squash and like smashed them together. Over here you have the very rare one-legged rattelope. Okay. This is a winner. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a it looks like a Pokemon. It's got like look at it. It's like pink and it's got like gold foil on its back. It's almost like someone tried to trick him out, like a like a chromed out car or something. Big polished eyes, a beak thing, like a third eye over here of Sauron. Okay, straight up. This looks like a hand holding an electric razor, but instead of having like a regular razor at the tip, it has like a hook. It almost looks like a torture implement. Got a sad potato. This thing's gonna get hunted for its ivory. It's like 30% horn. And again, it has like one leg. I imagine maybe there's another leg hidden behind here. I don't know if this is a mouth or like a nostril or like the same kind of eyes that like bees have. Okay, that's, that's straight up something out of a nightmare. What is this? What is this? It's like the ugly duckling, but I think these are really, really big buck teeth instead. And it's got hooves attached to legs that don't look like it could support its body. I don't think there's a gravity amount that we could change here. So I, I maybe the gravity is just really low and that's why this guy is able to live. Oh, we got, we got, oh, we got some stuff here today, boys. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, that, it kind of just looks like a pipe with a mouth. So knowing what we know, we must first begin messing with genetics. I would like to take this thing and create something glorious with it because it looks friggin' sweet. The only problem is there's only one of them in the entire map and I'm not sure how to keep this thing alive. You two get to live together in harmony. Yes, my little bot. Keep them alive. Allow them to, oh, this one's burning. This one's burning alive. Oh, it spontaneously created another critter. And now there's two, cr oh my God, this thing multiplies like crazy. I didn't even mess with the, uh... oh, they're all dead. All of its young just died instantaneously. This guy's okay though. Let us speed time up so that we can see which creature is allowed to live and which creature must die. Now the, the world is still really, really hot. What the, is now entirely player owned. Oh, 
Is that because the only ones that lived are the ones I put in here? So this is the weakling clan. They have no business continuing to stay alive. Hold on. I know how to fix this. I'm sorry, guys. You couldn't hang. Get out of here. Let us watch the aquatic creatures as they go into the water and... I don't know. I don't really know. Oh, they're beating up the coral over here. They're eating the coral a lot. And now he's just kind of laying around. And now he's eating whatever else is on the ground over here. There's actually a lot of stuff in the water. The water is a pretty fantastic place. Look at this. You got uh, like your seaweeds over here. You got your lake lettuce. This isn't a lake. It's an ocean. So I guess the ocean lettuce. Oh, wow. It is like a giraffe horde over here. Look at all these long necked freaks running around. This entire place is just owned by really, really long necked critters. Just very swiftly moving from one end to the other, destroying entire populations of trees and leaving behind, I don't know what that is. I, it may be some sort of ground fruit or something. I'm really not sure. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cooling the temperature. Not a lot, just a little bit. I just want everyone to start understanding what it's like when Gray starts messing with their livelihood. All right, so the entire continent now only has one creature. There's only one creature left in this entire place, which means that there's one thing for us to do to fix this, and that's to expose them all to an incredible amount of radiation. You know there's no limit to the amount of times that you can hit these guys with nukes, so I'm gonna hit them a lot. More nukes. More nukes. We were gonna splice in some genes, just to see. Let's take some genes and some things that we made. That was our shore creature over there, if you remember. There's the Sadness Max. It didn't last very long, but it is there. Uh, let's grab, um, oh, this being. Remember him? He was pretty good. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a couple of those. It's interesting how these creatures move. They just kind of waddle their butts around, like back and forth, and that's how they propel themselves through the grassland. Kind of weird. This one really vibrate in his backside. That's how, look at how fast this thing is. A little tiny critter. I like you. You're going to get genetically spliced. Congrats. All righty, so we're gonna jack up the side. Not too big. I don't want them too big. I just, I just want them to be somewhat freakishly large, but not too large. He's gonna need some shaggy to him, right like that, because he has to survive the cold. Metabolic heat production. Uh, sure. Oh my God. We need to give this guy these legs. It almost looks like a dude is kneeling. Like if you, like this is where the bent knees are and this is his, uh, his heels and his, and his, the soles of his feet. I think I'm gonna use these. I want bigger feet though, like that. I want a cool head. It needs to have something appropriate for a creature that can live, uh, okay, is it just me or does that look like the queen alien? Remember from Aliens? That's awesome enough for me. That's your new head, buddy. Head scale. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? No, we're not dealing with laziness anymore. I don't want creatures that are lazy. They don't need to be aggressive either. I want them to get out there. I want them to, to learn to hunt and, and fish or whatever this thing does. All right, I gave this thing 13 facial features and it got some like almost Homer Simpson eyes at the top of it. So this is what we have created so far. Um, looks perfect. I'm calling this thing the Highlander. That's my, that's my executive decision. All right, everyone, congratulations. You're all being spliced with Highlander genes. Enjoy. Hopefully it works. I'm really hoping that some Highlanders pop into... Oh. 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 Ugh. Didn't last very long. We've got a winner over here. Look at it. It's existing. It's hungry. It's trying to figure out what it wants to eat. It wants plants, which is good. I don't really want it to eat what's left of my peoples, or my creatures, I should say. So continue to eat the plants. Oh, yeah. Oh, the spider beings have arrived. Every time we do something in species, I feel like we're creating worlds that are utilized in like every single death alien movie that was ever made. Like we haven't, I haven't managed to make one cute alien. They're all a bunch of freaks. They're all just a bunch of crazy psychotic freaks. All right, just dropping a few more nukes on all the creatures. So this is what, <laughs> Wow. This is what we're left with so far. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This just looks like someone giving us the middle finger, but it's just one finger. Oh, oh, it's it's evolving. Look, from a, a moment ago, it was grotesquely obese, but now it's like super thin in the torso. Now it's gone. It probably died. I'm gonna raise the water level just to see what happens. 
Let's create a climate control device. We've never done that. I'm gonna put it like, let's see, target value. Relative temperature fertility, this device. Okay, it does, optimal value is between and it doesn't tell us. Sure, I'm gonna say 25. All right, and we're gonna put it right, oh. Oh, crazy, it's like changing the grass as we use it. That's pretty slick. It like, look at it go. It's trying to, uh, I don't know if it's turning this into like a savanna. You know, it's a lot of heat. It's supposed to only go from zero to one, right? Nope, didn't know that at all. Had no idea. I guess it's liquefied everything. Let's go ahead and change it then. Bring it down to negative. Now let's not do that. We'll do one. How about this? One. There you go. I can't get any trees because everything is killing all the trees so quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I hate to say it, but uh, yeah. Murder selected. Bam. Ugh. I've killed a lot of creatures, man. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta change some world stuff here. We can't get any trees going around. So let's move that down. Uh, let's move the tree efficiency like way up and uh, everyone's gonna die a lot faster. We're gonna bring the aging rate down. Well, aging rate up, I guess. There we go. Man, these creatures are just out of control. Look at them. I've never had them like create more of their kind so quickly. What is going on here? I can't stop them. They're so fast. They're all just breeding like crazy. I've turned, I've changed the breeding and it, what is this? And it's just going completely insane. All right, it's time to, time to restart the world here. Temperature's going down, baby. All right, you know what we need? We need to create like a, like a, a violent mutant. We need like something that will kill many other creatures because it's just too many creatures we need like a we need like a real predator like the most vicious predator we could get you're gonna be it buddy time to mess with your genes now you can see in the beginning here this sad pathetic bobble-headed being doesn't even look like he could harm a fly but we're gonna we're gonna change all this brain aggression maximum gluttony yes empathy None. He's a cold-blooded killer. Okay, so I'm starting to bring the temperature way down. Everyone's still alive. Like, it's negative three degrees Celsius, and these creatures just won't die. Like, I know that sounds terrible for me to say, but, like, it's amazing. Like, their ability to just continue to survive is blowing my mind. I don't know what else to do to these things. Get irradiated. What more do you want? See what kind of species we're dealing with here. There's a lot of species, 34 right now. They all kind of look like a, uh, a a breakdown of the sea cucumber. If you notice, no one has any legs. This is very interesting. Probably because just the, the weird wormish, oh, this guy does, that was interesting. The, like the little wormish thing was the only thing that was left. So that's like the only thing with any kind of, with any kind of influence on what comes next. I don't know, I'm gonna keep lowering the temperature and see if these things can continue to survive. What is this? There's nothing here. It's just a dark J. It almost looks like a tongue maybe. So here's your diagram over here of people who have made it to the end. Well, most of which have made it. You could see all the, the different types of species and everything that were in the potential lineup of disastrous beings at one point. All right, Gray's done screwing around. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. Take that. A fine mist encircles the land. At least that's what it looks like. If you notice, it looks like everything's all like misty. We're right about freezing, so I'm guessing it's snowing. I think that's the precipitation. Yeah, there's there's snow starting to cover the ground. Well, let me speed this up. Oh, freaking sweet. So does the does the water eventually turn to ice? Because it still looks like the water is here. It's an ocean, so it's going to take a lot of cold. Oh, everyone's dying now. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Or are we? A lot of things are just mutating. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sea cucumbers are getting all jacked up up in here. Oh, this guy with the legs is still around. So I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Legs. Never mind, I think he just died. Oh, no, he's back. There he is. It's like a little bit, it's like a three-fingered hand. You guys don't want to die? Fine. We'll continue to bring it down. Negative 19 degrees Celsius now. It's amazing. Everyone's doing fine. I don't know how, and I don't know why, but everyone is still alive. Things like cockroaches. All right, you wanna play hardball? Let's keep it going. Negative 32 degrees Celsius, go. Okay, 
Now we're finally starting to see some death. At negative six degrees Celsius, everyone is starting to pay the price. I imagine at this point, there's basically no food left. Like if I had to guess. So the question is, can they evolve in time? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring it up slight to give them a chance to evolve. They're doing it. They're fighting back against the natural order. Look, they're back up to 150, 160, despite it being negative 23 degrees Celsius. You gotta be kidding me, 170. A lot of them are just kind of, well, no, not at all. There, there's a few that are up there, but there's a lot that are totally away from the, uh, the climate control. There's a bunch that are down here. 240. That's crazy. All right, I'm, I'm just, I'm just splicing in a ton of genes over here. Like I'm going nuts. I'm choosing, I'm choosing everything that we've made to try and splice stuff in and see what happens. So this is what we're dealing with right now. This guy's taking over the world. He's doing great. Look at him. He's got like legs. Nothing else really had legs right now. We've, we've got like an entire planet of slug-like entities. Some of them have bigger craniums than others. Oh, never mind. The legs are starting to come into play over here. What is this? Oh, there they are. They're running right over. They're running right over here. Look at them kind of trolling around as they do. All right, we're up to 300. So it's time to reduce the temperature even more. Negative 32 degrees Celsius. Continue to drop nukes on everyone here just to see if we can uh, irradiate some more interestingness. All right, negative 20 degrees Celsius. It started to go down, but they figured out a way to survive. Now they're starting to push 200 again. This is probably like a version of Hades where gray messes with your genetic makeup for all eternity, like turning the landscape into a more desperate, barren hellhole as all the creatures fight valiantly to survive against all opposition. This one area over here. Actually, it's quite nice over here. Maybe I'll put down a second one. Maybe I'll put another one lower. Put one down here. There. Now you guys have two climate controlled areas. See all the ice is slowly fading away. Everything's warming up. Now we should eventually get some grass in here, I think, I'm really not sure. So over here it's two degrees Celsius. And then at the top of the mountains, it's negative 18. I'm sorry, it's even worse than that. It's negative 26. All right, they figured out how to live. Let's hit them again, negative 37. All right, we finally managed to kill everything. So with that done, all right, the ice age is over. We're gonna bring things back to, to some semblance of normalcy. This place should get filled with trees. Once more, all the ice melts away from the oceans. We actually melt, we actually iced over the entire ocean. And now a different horror will come across this land. All right, everyone's happy. Everyone's capped out. Gray's frame rate is looking like crap. Now everyone gets to drown. All right, who's gonna survive the culling? Let's find out. Come on, raise it up. Raise it up. Yes. More. Oh, look at the land change. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna bring up the temperature like even a little bit more, like maybe like to 24 or so. And that did it. Finally, we have caused mass extinction. Not from bringing the temperature, down to like negative 37 degrees Celsius, but from bringing the water level up and drowning everyone. Well, uh, sorry. Guess that's Atlantis for you. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. What should we do next to our population? You guys gotta let me know in the comment section below. There's way too much fun to be had in this drunken, messed up, natty light 24 pack game, whatever you wanna call it. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.